I'm here at an auction only car dealers have access to, and I'm gonna be asking them questions to see what business is like in 2024. I'll be speaking to people that have been in this business for over 20 years, and I'll be going deep into questions like how much they make, if it still makes sense to get started in today's market, and advice for people that are looking to be car dealers. My name is Jamal from Flipping University, and let's get into it. All right, what's up, man? How you doing? So, first of all, what was your name and the name of your dealership? Uh, I'm Chris, I'm from uh, MSM. MSM? And are you a wholesale dealer or you're a retail as well? Uh, yeah, both. Actually. Both? Yeah. I got you. And how long have you been in the business? Uh, about six years. Six years? Yeah. How would you say, honestly, it is being a car dealer? Yeah, it's up and down. Man. It's you know, Prices are ridiculous right now. Yeah, you know, yeah. All used cars are really high, but people still buying cars, so yeah, got to sell them. You know? And would you say, what, what would you say is like the easiest part of the job or like the best part, let's say, of being a car dealer? I just like, you know, buying and selling cars, whatever you go to fix them up a little bit. And then yeah, sell yeah. Them a couple of bucks and on to the next car, you know? Nice. So, and how about the, the opposite side, the toughest part? Yeah, well, when you lose money. <laughs> you know? But uh, you just, there's a lot of a lot of crap here, you know? Yeah, just, yeah. Uh, pick and choose the, you know, the cars that seem to run pretty good. I got you. Best, you know? And honestly, what do you think of today's market? I know, you know, from before coming from COVID, things were a little tougher. Before would you COVID, say? it was great. You make a ton of money yeah. selling cars. Now it's hard. Everybody wants to, you know, everybody's selling cars now, you know? Yeah. Would you honestly say it's worth it for someone just getting yeah, into the business? Yeah, still? No, without a doubt, you know? If you're handy, you can work, you know, work on cars and, yeah. you know, you shouldn't have any, any problems, but it's always a risk, you know? I got you. you know, most of the time, most of the time you make money or whatever, sometimes you get beat real bad, yeah, you know, yeah. and it equals out. So I got you. Thing, you know? And what would you say is the last thing? What would you say is like a quick tip for someone that's just getting into the business, like just today? Uh, yeah, like I said, just go over the cars, man. You know, make sure, you know, put them in reverse, neutral, you know, make sure the train is good. Check, yeah, check, yeah. check engine lights, you know, things like that. They'll just go over the car before you buy it. You all know, right. You buy it blind, you're going to want to get beat because everything's a piece <laughs> of shit. You know? For real. Awesome. But, Thank right. you, man. No problem, problem, buddy. Oh, it's nice meeting you. Have a good luck. All right, what's up, man? Hi, so, first of all, what was your name and your name of your sure. dealership? Oh, it's on BNG. Oh, it's on BNG? Mm -hmm. Okay, and how long have you been in the business? I've been in the business like, almost like 10 years. 10 years, oh, wow. Nice. And honestly, what's your experience so far of being so in the far, business? I like it, man. I left yeah. my job, and that's what I've been doing. That's awesome. And where are you based, by the way? Oh, I'm in Georgia. Georgia. But it's, I'm, all, I'm like kind of all over the place, though. I got you. Mm -hmm. And are, are you like a wholesale dealer, retail? Yeah, yeah, retail. I do, I do both. Both? Yeah, okay. retail and wholesale, yes. Mm -hmm. well, what would you say is better between the two? Like, what, what would you say if someone was just trying to be a wholesale dealer, do you think it's worth it? Or? Pretty much, I don't know. I started off of the streets, selling mm -hmm. cars from the street. Yeah, yeah. Just to have in my own place. I got you. you know what I mean? But it's, it's a good business. I like it. Mm -hmm. I enjoy it. I got you. And I'm going to say that I did, I did it to be great that I left my job and come into this business. That's awesome. Yeah. And do you think right now, let's say if someone was starting today, would you think it's still worth it, like getting into the whole business? It's still worth it, but what happened is it's kind of like after the, after the pandemic, mm -hmm. thing was kind of like a little bit slow, but now it's kind of like speaking up. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But hey, it's life itself, you know what I mean? Th things happen. Yeah, so you think it's it's still worth it, but it's a little tougher sure, than before. It's a little, exactly. It's yeah, yeah. I mean. Plus, they, the world is kind of like they can be shifting right now. Mm -hmm. But it's good. But it's still going. It's still good. So I, I'll be having some good days and some bad days. But yeah. me, I'm going to tell but I'm not going to leave the business. I'm, I'm staying here. That's awesome. That's awesome. So I, I, enjoy being, I enjoy being a culture shit. That's awesome. So as a very last thing, what would be your advice for someone that's just starting today into the whole business? I'm going to... But I would say is that um, if you want to start on the, I mean, if you want to start this business, I would say is that um, kind of like look into somebody what else you kind of like know about it. As was like the way see like the way that I know. Mm -hmm. Me when I started, it, it was somebody else that told me about it. Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna tell. You, I left my house that day. And I'm like, you know what? Let me go to the bank, kind of like get some cash out, mm -hmm. and let me go ahead and try it and give it a try. Yeah. You know, that's how, that's how I started off and look at how long that has been. Yeah. It has been like 10 years. Wow. I mean, if you see something that you like, you want to you wanna do it, just go ahead and give it a try. Let's do it. Just do it. Listen, if you <laughs> listen, if you don't give it a try, how would you know? You won't know. Well, yeah. I mean, it's, it's life mm -hmm. itself, but I'm going to tell you, I love the business. That's awesome to hear. And I enjoy the being uh, a used car dealer. 
That's awesome to hear. All right, man. All Thank right. you. Appreciate you. Okay. okay, so we're still on the prowl looking for the next dealer to actually interview. But before that, I did want to actually help you out with something as well. If you're just getting started into the business, I did actually put together a full masterclass training teaching how you can get a high profit car that doesn't need to be fixed. If you want access to that training, just go to the link in the description below. But all right, let's try to find the next guy. What's up, man? So first of all, what was your name and the name of your dealership? My name is Marcos, actually in New Jersey. And and uh, just trying to open one here in New York. The name is Auto Star Motors. Auto Star LMC. Motors? Yes. Nice, nice. And how long have you been in the business? Like 10 years. 10 years, yeah. really? Wow, that's a good amount of time. Yeah. And what do you think, like, overall, of the, the amount of time that you've been in the business? What's your experience of being a car dealer so far? You know, it's a good business if you have time for this. Mm. Because a lot of people want to do that. But remember, if you don't have a lot of experience, 100% you can win money. You got to know something with, with the cars, like some experience, especially on couple of cars like the Nissans. Yeah, they always <laughs> you know, have problems, right? They have a lot of problems with yeah. the transmission, something like that. But, you know, with the time you can, like I found people like good mechanic, good shops, mm -hmm. and you can try to find uh, good deals. And just trying to buy a car for uh, one auction, Mm -hmm. and bring to here to copy. Oh, so yeah okay okay oh by the way are, like, you, are like you a wholesale dealer wholesale dealer i got you. I, I do both you do both retail okay. and wholesale, and wholesale. yeah okay but go, couple of times if you have the car on the your dealership mm -hmm. uh maybe the people don't are interested in the car so mm -hmm. you gotta move that car to the auction, the auction yeah. to move the money you know yeah yeah, yeah and trying to have a uh, um, different different cars i got you yeah and what would be the minimum you try to get if you're trying to wholesale to another dealer yeah like what's the minimum you try to get for profit for wholesale is there a minimum or you just it depends uh depends remember uh sometimes you can have uh the pen okay yeah and let's say if what, what do you think of the market today like let's say compared to you know when you first got started everything is expensive you know right now everything is expensive <laughs> yeah yeah uh some years ago so everything is more good but right now if you bought a car from like five thousand two days ago the, the market go high it's a lot higher or yeah. go low mm -hmm. but right now everything is expensive especially yeah. on the street yeah. yeah do you think things are starting to normalize like back to regular prices i don't think so do you think it's still pretty high yeah I don't yeah think yeah. So. yeah everything is expensive right now <laughs> okay so. and as a very last question what would be your advice for someone just getting into the business right now uh just getting started time and time just in the business uh time remember because you you have a you work mm -hmm. and you want to do this business you have to have a the time because the cars need a lot of time so just putting the time aside i think the time i think the time is more better of the money because you can uh put money on one car you can buy a lot of cars mm -hmm. but if you don't have the time you can sell it the car yeah yeah you know i got you yeah okay awesome well, thank right. you man all right, brother. appreciate you all right guys so i gotta be honest something annoying just happened i was on the prowl looking for the next person to actually interview and again keep in mind i'm not bothering anyone right i'm just asking people if they want to be in the video or not and this other guy that ended up working there came up to me it looked like he's probably like the manager of the spot and he just asked me you know what i was doing there all this stuff obviously it came up that i was interviewing people and i was like i'm not trying to mess up nobody i'm really just trying to help out people that are getting into the business and he basically said that what i was doing was against the policy and against the rules and he asked me well he basically told me to either give in my camera that i'm recording with or re just delete all the footage from the day and long story short i basically told him no i'm not doing any of those options and i'm just gonna leave and just not come back so i basically ended up getting banned from the auction and yes on one page that kind of sucks in general that i can't come back to this auction but i'm not gonna lie this auction in general usually sucks like it's actually been a pretty long while since i've came to this auction to get cars usually i'm getting auction on online sites or these other auctions that's also by me so truthfully 
being banned from this one isn't really going to change much for me but it is just annoying because again it's like i didn't mess up anybody's day like if you don't want to be in the video don't be in the video right but regardless thank you for the people that did actually say yes to being in an interview i probably had to ask i don't know maybe like 30 to 40 people just to get the three people that i got today but yeah i hope you at least got a lot of value out of today's video and you can subscribe for more content about flipping cars and building a business doing it and i'll catch you in the next one peace